What's up? It's Arm Wrestling Academia again, and today we're going to look at this Georgian Phenom. No, not that one, or that one, or that one. Another one. He's been taking a lot of criticism on some of his videos, so let's see if that's valid. So he's a 110 kilogram athlete, a pretty big guy, but doesn't look to have legs, but he's an arm wrestler, so whatever. He's doing 135 kilogram bicep curls, quote unquote, a few kilos above what Levan recently did on the Preacher. This is a weird exercise, I don't really see the benefit over a preacher curl or the same exercise but lighter, and I guess this is supposed to be an isometric hold or something. There isn't much range of motion going on, as soon as it leaves almost vertical, he's lost it, and it exploded. That guy watching seems confused, maybe disappointed. And he seems to have hurt himself, looks like he's pinched his waist on the belt. Now single arm. 105 kilogram dumbbell curl on the preacher. Here we go, something more useful in my mind. It's not bad, but again, the range of motion is minimal with the forearm barely approaching close to 45 degrees to the floor. Certainly not parallel, but this is arm wrestling, so closed angle loading, etc. etc. It is very heavy, impressive, but the amount of counter movement being pulled backwards by the body to heave the weight back up seems a little wasteful. We'll compare it to Levan later. I'd be interested to see what his wrist is doing in this because the dumbbell seems to spin away on some which suggests his wrist is bending back instead of staying cupped. He is very insistent on more reps, it's impressive, this kind of mindset is quite rare and it is useful even if it comes across as ugly. And there you see, hitting 45 degrees and it's too much. Now let's compare it to Levan doing the same movement. Obviously the weight here is less but the principle applies. You can see Levan keeps his body locked and there is some minimal bleeding of kinetic energy through the torso, but for the most part he is locked. The only point of flexion is the elbow and you can see the elbow is lowering much closer to 45 degrees against the ground, which is the most useful part of his exercise. You can see too that he is lowering it deliberately and under control, he's not flailing around and shaking everywhere. He's doing the movement for the sake of the movement, not as a display of maxing out. Onto the bench press, not an arm wrestling specific exercise, but a good display of general strength and attitude. This is 210 kilograms, which is of course an impressive bench for anybody, but you can see he does not appear, again, as solid and practiced as you would expect someone benching this much to look. It looks, shockingly, that his strength has arrived suddenly and without the adequate time for gentle maturation, interpret that as you will. Also, this might be an angle issue or a positional problem, but his right arm seems much bigger than his left, so I guess he's a writer. Look, after the liftoff, he's almost fallen off. He has no stable leg base. This is an almost entirely upper body bench press. There's no leg drive. He is very strong, but as I said, he lacks the apparent years of practice and development of useful patterns. Unlike Levan here, who, despite not being a powerlifter, benches in a textbook way, an elite powerlifter would, or at least a practice one would. He sets up like someone who knows how to maximize his positions. His legs are engaged, his back is arched, his shoulders are packed tightly, all things that should be done for a competent, safe bench press. The unrack and the handoff is done professionally, and the reception of this too. The bar path down and touch position are on point and the press up is clean and smooth. The van knows how to bench, as you'd expect someone benching 250 kilograms. Let's get on with some actual sparring now. You can see he favours the hook, which is holding strength and brute force, clearly his sports. But again, his movements seem slow and sluggish compared to other hookers like Babayev, he just seems less tight and deliberate. He's very strong, of course, but it looks to me like he's not quite transferring that strength fully onto the table. He's not entirely in control of that strength on the table, which is obviously not a great asset for arm wrestling. Again, you can see his hook here is very strong, but the angle and general position seems left open. He's moving to an outer angle. In this exercise, which is obviously famous through Voivoda, the point would be to strengthen the proper close hook angle, keeping the arm into the body more. Maybe it works for him, but you can see he's barely budging from this position. He's a big guy, 110 kilograms, but it looks like a lot of that mass is non-specific and not being utilized properly towards this sport. He's like a tank, brute forcing through his opponents. It's going to work to some extent, but at some point it just won't. 
Once you hit someone with the technical ability to unhook him, I don't think he'll last long. You can see right away that this opponent is more controlled, more technically savvy, while our guy is flailing away trying to brute force him. The opponent has top rolled and now opened his hand, so now Georgie is attempting to flop wrist press through him. He can't do much else from here. He gets back his wrist a little, but then loses it again. And then the opponent is fatigued and he's able to just brute force and push his way through the opponent. But for how long? Here, he's up against another strong hooker. Again, he's very strong, especially holding his positions. Look how tightly tucked his arm is. The position is something like the rat's. He's trying to drag him off the table, but you can see his arms start to open at the shoulder when he pushes, but he gets there eventually. But look at this, it's little Lelatin. Oh, and what a surprise. Lelatin is stronger and more technically sound. He just ripped him forward entirely off the pad while keeping his arm close and very easily toppling George's wrist. Our guy is strong but slow. I don't think he can keep up with anyone with a quick start. The same thing happens again. Top roll steam train right through George's wrist and drags him off the pad. So there we have it. Our guy is very strong, he's shifting huge weights, but his technique and general ability on the table is lacking. He seems like a one trick pony and at this point that one trick on the table is a strong but ugly hook hold. It worked to some degree but as soon as anybody is slightly more technically proficient it's game over. Well that's it for the quick analysis today, let's look at someone else next time. If you have any suggestions let me know in the comments down below, if not then just spam nonsense because it benefits everybody to have this sport more widespread and picked up by the algorithm. See you later. <laughs>